Hello and welcome back. We're now going to look at the different settings that I said we'd look at. So, and the customization of some of the plugins. So we'll start in alphabetical order, contact form 7. Settings, there isn't really very much to do here. <coughs> Basically there's already, it, can, it sets up a contact form and it gives you what it calls a short code. So we copy and paste that, go across to pages, click on add new, and we're going to go for a contact form. Just call it contact, copy and paste that in, come down to the Yoast plugin because if we leave it without changing it, it will put the site title in as well. Meta description, contact. Again, because otherwise, and you'll see with Yoast, we'll cover that in more detail. That's that. Just off screen there's a button called Publish. And once you press that, View Page, as you can see, contact, note, contact form, and that will then go off. Now the other thing there is leave a reply, so we need to change that. So go back to Edit Page, and across the top right is a thing called Screen Options. Open that and it'll be as either discussion or comments, I never remember which. So clicking that, right, OK, down the bottom, there's a bit that says allow contacts, allow comments, um, get rid of that basically, click on an update button which is just off screen, so it changes the first time you post it'll be a publish and then it's update and what that does is it gets rid of the edit things there because I'm logged in but other than that it gets rid of comments because you don't really want comments on a contact page so that's the first one we'll come back to the dashboard and plugins Exclude pages from navigation, nothing to do, nothing needs to do in there. Jetpack light, nothing needs to do in there. Limit login attempts, I tend to leave as default. Um, you'll find it across somewhere in um, settings. Limit login attempts. Basically, what it does, it allows them four times to try. If they haven't, this also applies to you, so you need to remember your password. But you should have that saved in your browser or somewhere safe. So they get four retries. If they don't get in in those times, they're locked out for 20 minutes, that'll stop most hackers. And basically, it increases in, well, basically in time until they get locked out for half a day. sorry for a day and then they the things reset after 12 hours what you'll find if you I don't I, I find that box too scary the email to admin uh, but you can do that and you, you'll get notified when that's happened but basically it does its job and you don't really need to change in the defaults spam free WordPress settings again the only thing you need to do, I've got a license key there, but um, if you haven't got that, there's a little button thing appears in the bar at the top and says go off and get a license key. You need to do that with it. They don't spam you, they don't send you lots and lots of emails or anything like that. And pretty much, although that says needs attention, it doesn't. Um, I don't really care about the stats on spam, as long as it's stopping most of it. So that's that plug-in. WordPress database backup, yes that does need a change, so that comes under um, one of those. Bear with me a second. I should actually read the bit there that says go to tools backup. Ignore all the tick boxes and things like that. Ignore the backup now, go for scheduled backup. And I go for weekly. Um, not worried about, well actually in that one I might be. So if there's other th 
things that it could potentially include it will offer you to offer to include them, but it's quite intelligent. And what that will do is just once I've set it up once a week, it will send me a backup. As you can see, you said it scheduled backup options saved, and it will send everything. Which means if if all went wrong, if anything needed to happen with WordPress, if someone hacked the site or anything like that, I've got a fairly recent backup. If you're changing your site daily, then put it daily if you're changing it more often twice daily or even hourly but weekly I find is usually okay and then I go back to my inbox every now and then and clear out all the the old copies because you don't need the old copies you just need the most recent so we're working our way down the list got as far as database backups we'll come on to the other th three settings. We'll probably spend the whole of the next video on WordPress SEO and then we'll cover the other two. So see you in the next video.